Now this video is dedicated to all my Christian viewers and even if you're not a Christian, I guarantee you this is going to relate to you in some sort of way because it almost feels like every single day or month or week or year that passes by, it gets harder. Like we're like, God, where's my breakthrough? Like I, I want to I wanna experience these green pastures and still waters that you tell me. You know, you say there is light at the end of the tunnel. You say that there is sunshine after the storm, but it almost feels like there is another storm after that storm. And that there's endless storms in my life where are these moments where i can actually experience peace where are these moments where i can actually have my breakthrough i can experience these blessings because all i see is suffering in my life well if there was one lesson that i've learned for example from anime is that it doesn't get easier you just get stronger and that's exactly what god is doing he is making you stronger he is working on your character so that anytime these demons come your way, you can actually fight them off. You can rebuke the kingdom of darkness. And one anime I can heavily connect this to is Demon Slayer. Like, look at my boy Tanjiro. He's got that water breathing, that fire breathing, slicing through these demons. And you see, for him, you think life gets easier? No. He just gets str he gets stronger. Like, if you think about it, like, he's got to go, like, through this whole Hashira training arc. He's got to face Muzan, a no spoilers, but like, it's crazy because every single time he defeats a demon, another demon comes by that is stronger, way stronger, a hundred times stronger than the one he just faced. And in order to defeat that demon, he's got to get stronger himself. But but if 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 I was Tanjiro, or if I if I was in that scenario and I told myself, man, you know this is too much work, this is too much suffering. Like why do I got why do I gotta go through all this chastening? and character development just to defeat this demon when there's going to be another demon that's way stronger than him well we got to keep moving forward bro like that's literally the only option like you see all these titans and attack on titan they got the colossal titan and then <laughs> i no spoilers from here but the titans keep getting stronger and did aaron just sit there in his basement and be like man mikasa take care of the titans no my boy he kept moving forward even asta I mean, I know Asta Loki has a demon within him, but he used that demon within him to fight off other demons. So when we go through these sufferings, bro, like I'm not saying we got to release our inner demons. No, my boy, we got to release that inner Holy Spirit within us. And that's exactly what God is doing. He is strengthening your spirit because in the Bible, it says that suffering produces perseverance and perseverance produces character and character produces hope. And that's what we need in this day and age, hope. But hope cannot be carried unless you have faith. You have to have faith within you, my boy. Like, I'm low-key going to make another video on this. But if you don't have faith in yourself, how can you have faith in God? Or if you have faith in God, you should be able to have faith in yourself, right? Like, if you truly believed that God is all-knowing and that he wants the best for you, you got to believe in yourself as well, bro. You can't just give up every time a storm comes your way. You can't just hide from the storm. My boy, eventually you're going to have to face it, right? So why not go through that chastening? You know, Jesus referred to God as the father, right? And so a good father is going to chasten his son or his daughter, right? Like if a father or if a son or daughter wanted something at the store, like a, like a candy, right? Like some Hershey kisses. And the father said no. Obviously the kid is not going to like it at that moment, at that moment, right? Like the kid, yeah, I'm going too fast, bro. But the kid is obviously going to be sad because she's going to be mad at the father because the father said no to the sweets, something that is going to fulfill her desires of the flesh, right? And so what feels good to the flesh is not good for the spirit. So right now, like Loki, you want that candy bar or you want it to be easy in life, right? But eventually you're going to have to go through that chastening. Eventually God is going to be like, you know what? Like, you got to prepare. You got to be ready. Because there are things out there that are going to take you down. And in order for me to bless you, you got to become strong enough to receive these blessings. Yeah. Do you think Jesus wanted to give up on his journey? Of course he did. In fact, he wanted to live a longer life. But he knew that wouldn't be right. So he denied himself and picked up his cross. And that's what we got to do. So whenever we face this slothfulness, this laziness, whenever we feel like giving up, we pick up our cross and deny our stinky selves 
our fleshly selves and we keep moving forward with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And so that's why it says in the Bible, we rejoice in our sufferings. And I feel like the true meaning behind this is that we get to actually be happy about our sufferings because we know that we just made it. Like we lived through that suffering and we're still alive. Like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? So when we rejoice in our sufferings, that's not to say, oh, I'm glad, you know, I mean, I'm also glad that I went through the, the bad times as well, right? Like if I didn't go through those bad times, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Like low key, if I didn't experience that down bad state, the lowest point of my life two years ago, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I wouldn't be almost a thousand days clean in Jesus name on my semen retention journey. And so I actually do rejoice in my sufferings. I'm actually glad that I got to experience those down bad moments because it shaped me into the person I am today. Now, if I had to name another anime character to represent, it would be Goku Ackerman. Like you see this dude is constantly training. When is he not, right? And whenever he faces these villains that are a hundred times stronger than him, does he tell himself, man, I don't feel like training today, man. You know what? I'm gonna just let Vegeta handle the work and I'm gonna sleep in. No, my boy. Cause then that wouldn't be Goku, right? Goku is all about surpassing his limits and reaching the next best version of himself, right? I mean, that's why he's got all these different forms because each and every single time he gets stronger, he reaches a new form and that's just like us, right? But in order for him to level up, like Loki, he has this aura, right? The Super Saiyan aura and that's not coming from his flesh, right? That's Loki, the spirit. Like we all know Goku for his spirit and that's Loki, like the Holy Spirit. Like the more we level up our Holy Spirit, the more aura we get the more better we get, right? Like, think about it. Like, the more I leveled up my spirit, right? The more I started to change. Like, low-key, it's like Dragon Ball with these, like, different types of, like, transformations, right? We literally ascend to the next level. We low-key become a new version of ourselves. Like, low-key, like, people, like, some people don't even recognize me anymore. They're like, yo, what the fuck? Like, motives, like, you got all buff and everything. Like, how'd you do that? My boy, it all started not from outside, not from the exterior, but from within. You know, you can't change a person unless he wants to change. And the only way to change that person is by him changing from within. It all starts from within, the power within. Shout out to SpongeBob. And if Goku Ackerman told himself that he was going to give up, if he placed a limit upon himself, he would never have reached Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, 4, Red, Blue, and eventually Ultra Instinct. Like, if he was on that battlefield with Frieza and he told himself that he was just going to give up, that he wasn't meant for greatness, then he wouldn't have ascended to the next best version of himself. And that's how he reached Super Saiyan 1, because he didn't give up. And so Loki, like that never giving up mindset, that's from Jesus, because Jesus never gave up. Even though he was tempted by Satan, even though the world denied him, he still kept moving forward. And that's what we gotta do. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Don't be stressed, just stay blessed in Jesus name. And remember to keep surpassing your limits and rebuking the kingdom of darkness and embracing the kingdom of righteousness. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay blessed, stay wealthy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.